Pterodactyl here, and where it is, September 1st. Woo! Summer's over! Yeah! Finally over. Woo. It's been a hot one, too, as you can tell by the temperature gauge. And we got the doors open, so it'll cool down a little bit in here, but it's been hot. It's been hot the month of August here in Podunk, just like it was in July. So, we're about to start the engines again for our fuel experiment by ProPartsDirect.net donated the gas cans and the errands company that donated the engines in case you didn't know. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to start from 10 and work our way down to 1. And here we are with Star Trek. Switch on, choke out. didn't fire right up like before and did you notice the gas cans look at this one's all sucked in and this one's all bloated so yeah from the heat and stuff out here some are expanding some are contracting all right here we are with gas guardian number nine switch on choke out These are like the first couple of cool days we've had in a, about a week or so. We've been having some oppressive heat down here. Real humid and hot. But again, look at it. Oh, look at it. Even went up. It's almost at 90 now. Right in front of these engines. All right, Stainville 360, number eight. Shield number seven. Number seven. Lucky number seven. We'll see if it's lucky. May not be so lucky. Maybe it'll be lucky. Maybe not. What are you saying? What? Just, oh, right, I'll start it. I said something like that, it didn't start. I was just looking at that stable 360. Boy, that stuff is really dark compared to the unvented. You know what that looks like? It looks like morning pee pee. You know, when your pee pee's real dark yellow like that, means you're dehydrated. So maybe stable 360 dehydrated. Stent shield number six.
Tron took three pulls. The other three engines here took two pulls. And the stent shield started on one pull. Here we go, sea foam. Number five. Seafoam always belches out a lot of smoke at first. And then it kind of serves a little bit and then it smoothed out, but it was a little iffy there for a second. And then of course, the one casualty, K100. Now, VP. Switch on, choke out. on this VP there's been a lot of evaporation now I didn't mark it last month I figured you know we were kind of about equal on everything but just looking at the jars they kind of evaporated about the same and then this one's got some it's like some rapid evaporation going on there all right here we go number two 93 octane with 10 percent ethanol It sure ran crappy and then it kind of smoothed out and then it was really belching a lot of like richness but then it kind of smoothed out it's hanging in there though 87 The 87 seemed to run a little better than the 93. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? Now remember, you thought I forgot, didn't you? We had two other engines that we did that we said to wait for three months. Through your suggestions and your comments and your constant bickering and, and, and badgering. And here's one of them that's been started or not started, but been sitting for three months. And we put 87 octane with the 10% ethanol in it, which we took out of this can, which is all bloated, like a dead fish that's been dead floating in the water. But you gotta remember, these are good gas cans that are sealed. So three months ago when we used this, cause here, you're gonna hear the air escape when I hit the button. 
So this fuel was pretty, pretty fresh still because, you know, there's no air getting to it. And that's what we put in here. So now it's been sitting for three months. Should we start it? Should we? Fire it up, fire it up, fire it up, fire it up! Should we fire it up? Or should we wait another three months? Should I just tear that sticker off? What should I do? All right, I'll start the stupid thing. Switch on, choke out. Let me turn it to where I can get at it. Let's see if it'll fire up. I just started already. Ah, ain't starting. Switch is on. Joker's out. Oh, there it goes. So maybe there is a little truth to that starting these and letting them run a little bit. Maybe there is some truth to that. You know what maybe we need to do is when we start them, just let them run for a second and shut them off right away. Maybe I'm running them too long. Because remember, sometimes people aren't starting their stuff every month. They're just putting an additive in it and shoving it in the barn and just letting it sit. Or shoving it in their shed or their garage and they're just letting it sit for all those months. So maybe I'm running them too long. Maybe I should just turn it on, start it, make sure it runs, push the choke in, let it run for about 10 or 15 seconds, and shut it off. Let's try that next month. But let's, uh, let's let this sit another three months, huh? Let's change that September to December. I'll get a better marker. All right, let's go outside. And get the one that's been cooking out in the sun and in the rain and... Okay, here's the last one. Start me up! September 1st! Start me up! Oh, let's see what we got oh, here. Oh, Ronnie! Oh, that's the last one. Yeah. All right, well, do you think it's gonna start? I don't know. We're gonna find out. All the other ones did. Yeah, well that last one that sat for three months, it took quite a few pulls, but it did start. All right, well, let's see. 87 octane in this one too, 10% ethanol. Isn't it hot in that suit? No, it's nice out here today. All right, here we go. Switch on, choke out. Sitting in the sun, baking, cooking, getting rained on and everything for the past three months. going to start that's why I brought that jar out here and a 10 millimeter wrench but it started wow can't believe that so I have to change this now from September changing the month to December do you remember when we started the mower in December and we're changing the date to December First. It'll be almost Christmas time. All right. 
I don't know if it's gonna start. I think once things start cooling down, I think these babies are gonna have a hard time starting off. They're cold. I think it's gonna start wearing them down. Oh, now you're a fuel expert, huh? I, that's just my guess. Just take a little guess here. Yeah, well your guess, guess is as good as any. Exactly correct. Just like my guess. So, we'll see. We're gonna find out. We only had one failure. And you saw the proof was in the pudding, and the pudding was in the float bowl. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Terrell fixes all. Rocking the slipper shirt. Get slipper shirt and get all kinds of stuff on there. Hey, when do I get my own shirt? I don't know. It's up to the fans. Ooh, Maybe like... fans don't want to be wearing the shirt of a scumbag. Oh, come on. I'm just a little bit misunderstood sometimes, you know. Or maybe they do. We'll find out. Yeah, you gotta talk to somebody up there for me, too. Yeah, oh. they'll be in the comment section. If there's a clamoring for the shirt with a scumbag on it, oh, then right. we'll make yeah, a shirt right. with Ronnie on it. That'd be pretty cool, right? If not... You guys want me, want me a shirt, right? Talk to somebody for me, please. Come on. <laughs> We'll find out. All right, you know somebody. Get me in. And again, this experiment's being sponsored by the Aaron's Company and ProFartsDirect.net. So tune in again next month, which would be October 1st, when we come out here and try to start these again and see which one fails. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! All engines started, even the extra two. That we got put in the experiment late. But they all started. Tune in again next month.